right, Anne, should we start us off? I can start off with the housekeeping stuff while we wait for Janelle. Perfect. All so, right, sounds yeah, good. Idea. So, as usual, welcome. It's 8 o'clock on a Tuesday night. And everyone can take a break from watching polling results, except for my husband, who is upstairs watching the states turn all fun in colors. Um, <laughs> it's all right. Um, if you're joining us on Zoom, we have the settings that your mic is automatically muted and your video is automatically off, just because we do post these on YouTube and we post them to a public channel. And we want to be conscientious that not everyone wants their face on public YouTube channels. So if you don't mind, we would love to see your beautiful face as you join us live on Zoom. Um, so if you don't mind letting the world hear your voice and see your beautiful faces, um, or handsome faces, we've had gentlemen as well, um, then you can change those setting your settings yourselves on Zoom. Otherwise, you're more than welcome to join us on Facebook as well. If you don't have Zoom, uh, we do post it to our groups so that you can join us there. Make sure that you comment. If you're watching live, you get two entries into the prize wheel. And if you're watching the replay, you get one entry into the prize wheel. Also make comments, likes, shares, um, all those good things also get you entries into the prize wheel. We love doing prizes and we love entering you as many times as we possibly can. So we throw your name on there as much as we can based on your participation because we're very thankful for your support of our small businesses. Um, who got one of these in the mail this week? Oh, isn't that beautiful? And it's got the schedule of all of our upcoming classes. Anyone who wants to screenshot that can real quick. Isn't that beautiful? Awesome topics. We worked really hard. We brainstormed as a group for quite a few days. I would say probably two weeks trying to come up with ideal classes, especially rolling into the holiday season. We thought that the oils of ancient scripture would be a really good one. And then those um, Christmas, those oily DIYs, we thought those would be really phenomenal as well because who doesn't love a homemade gift? And a homemade gift with oils, that's just like the best ever. So, um, Anne, do you want to start with one of yours? Tonight we're doing the November freemies, free freemies, freebies. <laughs> I can't talk. Yeah, you should take over. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how my brain feels right now, too. I, it was a very, very long day today. Yep. Um, so, super excited about some of these um, freebies this month that uh, Young Living is offering. And we knew it was probably going to be good where it's November. And, mm -hmm. and you know, we have... Black Friday coming up. We've got the relaunch of the holiday gift products. We've got lots of things coming up in November. So um, I wanted to highlight one of my most favorite oils. Um, this one, I've loved this particular oil for probably since I began my Young Living oil journey back in 2013. Um, and it's called Abundance. And I've used it at many you know, like vendor events, it just seems to just attract people. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, it's really a combination of um, orange and ginger, just to name a couple of oils. I'll get a little bit more into it as I go along. But, um, but it was basically used with, in ancient cultures um, to attract prosperity, hence the word abundance, and magnify joy and peace. While People who know me know that I'm all about the joy and the peace. Um, I, I make kind of little, little jokes here or there that I always bring the joy. Well, it's because I wear joy every single day. I wear joy. So I'm always bringing the joy with me, which is kind of cool. Um, so just to kind of give a little bit more detail as far as what exactly, what's the combination of oils in this nice, um, yeah, my brain just went... <laughs> Um, in this nice blend. There we I'm go. glad it's not just me. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, so I named, you know, orange and ginger. What well, there's also frankincense and patchouli. Um, so another couple of my favorite oils. Clove. Um, I already mentioned ginger, but there's myrrh, cinnamon, and black spruce. So there's a lot of like earthy grounding 
oils in this blend. Um, I'm just drawn to that particular, I don't know, all those blends, all the, the earthy, I'm like, oh yeah, that smells great. That smells great. Where other people are kind of like, eh, I don't know if I really like it or not. Well, I, I absolutely love it. Um, so how do you use this abundant soil? Well, number one, you can diffuse it. You know, and that's what we generally suggest, you know, with any oil is just put it in your diffuser and let's just get it into the air. Um, some people opt to, to put it on topically. You can, you can do that as well. Um, the other suggestion, you know, if you are going to wear it topically, any oil, you should really probably dilute it the first few times just because, you know, the body is going, whoa, what's, what's this? You know, and we, you know, it's, as with anything, you want to, you know, uh, introduce it slowly and properly. Um, so obviously it's for external use only um, because it does not have a white label. So it's not one of the, the vitality oils, but it is just one of those, oh, you, you know, you just, I can't even describe it. It's, it's just one of those oils that you just have to try to believe it. So that's my little blurb on abundance. I love abundance. It was one of those oils, when I first started with oils, I hated the earthy stuff. Frankincense was the worst oil in my kit. I couldn't stand it. And I know Emily is like, what? That's my favorite. <laughs> um, but I think it was because of the toxic liver disease that I was going through. Um, that was just, I couldn't stand earthy oils. So the first time I smelled Abundance, I ordered it because my aunt Liz loved it. She ordered it from you. I think just a bottle. She didn't have her kit yet. She just ordered one bottle of it and she loved it and she raved about it. She talked to me about it for like three weeks. And so I was like, okay, I'll get this oil. I'll give it a try. I didn't really know what was in it. I just knew that Anne loved it and aunt Liz loved it. So I ordered it and it smelled awful. <laughs> I had I diffused it like three times and I was like I can't stand this it sat on my shelf all my other oils got the new labels like the where it's the color and then the little brown window with the name and abundance was sitting there with the old school the white writing it was like this old like like an antique oil sitting on my shelf that I wouldn't diffuse and I was eventually like okay, I need to just use this oil because it's bothering my OCD. Like, no other reason than the bottle was driving me nuts sitting on my shelf. And I got it out, and I love it. I love that oil. So it's funny, as my body detoxed and things changed, and I got rid of that yuck, and my body is healthier now, and it's more accepting of the oils that I need versus the oils that I just like. Um, I now love abundance. I wear abundance like a perfume sometimes. Um, and what you're saying about the vendor events is very true. Like there's something about it that really just attracts people. Um, not that they're handing me money, but like I have much more abundant and fruitful and meaningful conversations with people when I diffuse abundance as opposed to something like peppermint or something. I mean, those are good oils, but abundance really just like draws people in and opens up conversations and have meaningful conversations. So that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I would, I would agree with that. It's, you know, it was one of those oils that my, and I don't really know what prompted me to diffuse that particular oil at vendor events. No idea. I just thought, you know, I like it and you know, it's going to, we're going to be in a big open area. So let's, let's get something that's going to be like, oh, what, what's that? What's that scent I'm smelling? Yeah. And it really was a positive thing. Mm -hmm. uh, it was really cool. So, so yeah. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. All right, so I'll take a go. Okay, um, now hi, Ann. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Rodney. Hi, Ann. Hi. Um, so. Do you want me to do peace and combing next or the ornaments next? Choice is yours. Surprise well, In case we have technology difficulties, <laughs> we'll try the ornaments first because I'm trying something new, and if it doesn't work, peace and combing will be my backup. There you go. So, 
the Young Living Foundation did something absolutely wonderful this month. They sponsored a group of women in Uganda and purchased a whole boatload of ornaments. And that's one of our promo items, I believe at the 250 PV level. And something that they don't mention in these videos, well, I'll mention that afterwards. Um, so let me try and get this share screen business here to work. <laughs> Hope that works. Okay, share computer sound. Yep. Okay. So you guys can see this? Yeah? Good? Awesome. All right. So this is the younglivingfoundation.org, and they've got a blog, and they've got all kinds of different articles of the different groups and kids and women's groups and different things that they're doing to support people worldwide. There's two videos I want to share with you guys this evening because they're both amazing and they speak more volumes than I could express. Um, just wonderful things about this group in Uganda that Young Living is helping this month. So... <laughs> There are so many mothers who are facing different challenges. So many have desires to see that their children are raised well, but they cannot afford given the limited resources we have. Mabila Collective was created to empower women who have no education, women who are living in domestic violent marriages, struggling to raise their children. I was a single mother. I used to carry water. But it was not an easy job. It was so difficult because by that time I had no choice. And I had no another job. My name is Nariang Kafe. I grew up in a slum village in one of the districts in Uganda, but I did not get enough education. became difficult to me. The, my husband, he was killed by robbers. What am I going to do? I have nowhere to take my children. When they join the school, they go once, they are just back, they want school fees. Later, one of the head teachers of that school introduced me to Mavira Collective. My life since then, it changed because of Mavira. Life for Kathy and Sissy was really hard. It was hard for them to find food to feed their children. And given their background of little or no education, it is very complicated and quite hard for them to find work to do. Mabira Collective provides a special training for these women. When they come in, we teach them the value and strength of the woman in a society. We train them how to read and write in English. We train them how to run their own personal businesses. We provide work for them where they do jewelry making. And then when we sell the jewelry, we are able to pay them so that they can provide for their families. In 2012, I joined Mavila Collective. After joining, I realized that I have to be a self-reliant. I started working. I rented a house. I started staying with my children. And I became self-reliant. It's helped my children to be at school because they pay for us school fees. My children could no longer be chased away from school. The sins are now in senior six. The older boy joined the university last year. He was given a bachelor's degree in medicine and surgery. So really, that is God. We used to sleep in one room with those five children, a very small room. But now we are sleeping in two rooms. We have a kitchen. They are eating lunch and supper. When they are sick, I can take them to hospitals because I can provide. We have a good relationship, like a mother and children, which was not there before. 
because I was not staying with them and they didn't have that love of a mother. But now they have a love of a mother. It's very important that we elevate women in our society because women are the pillar. Women are the nourishers of the children in the family. Women are the makers of the great men and great women that are in this world. Women are the ones who create change. So it's important that we empower these women to be able to raise their children to a better generation. Watching these videos just kind of like makes me tear up a little bit because I don't have a ton of money and I've got two little kids so obviously I can't be going on mission trips all the time and watching a video like this it it's a small way that I can help um, people around the world and empower these women and so this video is shorter but this one is more specific to how Young Living is supporting the Malbira um, collective group um, through the ornaments this month, through the um, PV, the promos this month. <laughs> children that we together were able to help sponsor through school and give them fair paid jobs and um did you catch that little bit about young living sponsoring their their new kiln before young living partnered with them to do this they used to have to drive two hours to get something fired in a kiln and they had to pay a service to use that kiln so anything, their bead projects for their jewelry, other ornaments that they were doing, anything that required a kiln, they had to drive two hours and pay someone to fire off for them. And kilns can take up to 12 hours to fire off, depending upon what you're um, drying. 
um, I loved pottery in high school. That was my real passion was pottery, um, ceramics. Um, so the fact that Young Living sponsored one for them and then through some of the money that they got from Young Living for this contract for these ornaments for us this month, they were able to purchase a second kiln. So all of their firing, they're now able to do in-house thanks to Young Living and thanks to us members who um, get that PV level to get those ornaments. So every time I see that ornament hanging on a tree or whatever, I'm just gonna like say prayers for these women and for their kids that we all together collectively that we are putting through school. That really touches my heart. And it's, I love the heart of Young Living and the Young Living Foundation. And like we talked about last week, um, the Young Living Foundation covers all of the administrative overhead, like like Young Living, the company, covers all the administrative overhead so that every dollar, when you round up for your orders, there's always that option to round up to the nearest dollar for the Young Living Foundation. Every one of those pennies goes to a woman like that or her child because Young Living, the company, covers all of those administrative costs. So everything gets donated. Um all the money that we donate gets donated to those families. So that's just, it's super heartwarming and I just love the heart of our company. They're so generous. So, all right, Anne, I could go on about the Young Living Foundation for forever. You take your next oil. There we go. Um, it's, it's kind of unique how, how we kind of like put this in place tonight, you know, that you're talking about the ornament and, and the Young Living Foundation and how the company as a whole, it's just, they go over and above, really, you know, in, in, every, in every aspect, they always go over and above um, of what's expected. And so the next oil that I'm gonna be talking about, which is another, okay, so they're all my favorite. <laughs> Just gonna put that out there. You never pick one. Somebody asks me like, <laughs> yeah. uh, all of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, but there's one. It's called gratitude, and you know sometimes you know when I'm just kind of sitting by myself, or if I'm you know even at work because I you know I nanny for a living, and I just kind of sit back and I just watch the boys and and just how how they are and there's such a blessing and how grateful I am that, you know, of all the, it doesn't even necessarily have to be things, you know, like material things, it's just blessings. And so this oil, it, it fosters a grateful attitude and embraces um, the blessings in your life. Um, and it's very uplifting. It's a very uplifting oil. Um, it gives you like emotional and and even like a spiritual progress is is kind of what this oil is about and so like when i diffuse in last week we talked about how many diffusers i have um so <laughs> i kind of do a theme sometimes with my diffusers where i might use all the emotional support oils and gratitude is one of them so like no matter what room i'm in there's going to be an oil that's going to enhance and give me that emotional support. Um, again, this oil, um, you can, you know, apply it topically, two to four drops, depending on how strong you want it. Um, you can dilute it down, as I mentioned with, the, with abundance, you know, you might want to dilute it down the first couple of times around just until you know, you're like, oh, okay, I can, I can do this. Um, it's not required, but sometimes, you know, we just suggest that, you know, let's just dilute it down the first few times and then, then we're good to go. Um, and so what's in this gratitude oil? Um, balsam, frankincense again, you know, frankincense keeps making its appearance. Um, coriander, myrrh, uh, Lang Lang, um, citrus, bergamot, uh, northern lights, black spruce, uh, vetiver, and geranium. So there's like a whole bunch of oils in this blend, and it is just a phenomenal um, blend oil for that emotional support 
um, that you need. So I just find it unique how we kind of lined this up, not even talking about it ahead of time. Uh, <laughs> you know, how grateful we are and how blessed we really are um, in the things that, that we take for granted that other countries don't have. Mm -hmm. uh, really makes you take a step back and go, hmm, okay. <laughs> so back at you, Tessa. <laughs> All right, so I will wrap up the freebies for the month with peace and calming, and then we can let Janelle talk about the opportunity. So the last one I've got, and I know we've talked about it in other fo oily fireside chats, so I didn't want to talk too much about it, but I did want to highlight it. Um, specifically, the size is what I want to comment on. Size does matter. <laughs> um, so peace and <laughs> Well, we lost Dan. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> So, Peace and Calming comes in a big bottle this month. It's a 15 ml. You can only order it in a 5 ml. This big one, I have been nursing since they, um, when was that? The 25 year anniversary, they had a big Peace and Calming and a big Valor, which you can never order in a 15 ml. And then they had a lantern diffuser most beautiful diffuser I own, by the way. So this one, it's almost gone, but this is my big bottle of peace and calming. I use it to show people when Young Living is being generous, this is, this is generous because this bottle is worth a ton of money. Um, this is a huge promo, you guys. Peace and calming, you can only ever order in a 5 ml, and they're giving it to you in a 15. So I'm going to read to you from my desk reference because I love this book. This blend promotes relaxation and a deep sense of peace and emotional well-being. We're talking a lot about emotional support oils this month. And let me tell you, with it getting dark at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I need some emotional support. We're getting into the, what is it, sad seasonal, seasonal, some seasonal affective disorder, right? Is that it, Janelle? My nurse, my uncle nurse. So yeah, with sad in, in full swing, we need the emotional support oils. Young Living knows this. Um, so it helps with emotional well-being. It helps to dampen tensions and uplift spirits. When massaged on the bottoms of the feet, it can be a wonderful prelude to a peaceful night's rest. It can, it may calm overactive and hard to manage children. It does. Not it may, it does. It does calm overactive and hard to manage children. It also reduces depression, anxiety, stress, and insomnia. Many people use it for relief from restless leg syndrome. I can tell you with my pregnancy with Inara, I had RLS like you would not believe, and peace and calming was used frequently. The ingredients are tangerine, orange, lang lang, patchouli, and blue tansy, and I love that combo. The orange and the blue tansy are amazing. You add in that tangerine, the lang lang, and patchouli, and it just takes it to a whole new world. Um, if you have not used peace and calming, which you should have, it's in your kit. Um, but if you haven't used it yet, please do. It's amazing. Also, contact Wendy Weingarten to ask her how she's using peace and calming on her chest at night. She's got a really cool story. I can't share it because it's not FDA compliant, but contact Wendy Weingarten. You can message her on Facebook. She's got a really cool story that she can share with you. That's right now, Wendy. I just put you on the spot. Ha <laughs> um, ha. All right. I think Janelle's up. Ann and I covered our freebie stuff. Take it away, Janelle. I just have to add to Tessa's Peace and Calming. Uh, there are certain scents, there are certain oils that you may smell and you may not like. Um, patchouli and Lang Lang are two of those that I don't like. I don't like them. I think they smell like dirt. I don't like them. But when you put it in with the tansy, with the um, orange and put it into the blend. I love peace and calming, but yeah, Lang Lang patchouli. No, uh -uh. put it together though. It smells awesome. So if you are like, eh, I don't know if I'd like it cause I don't like this one or that one or whatever, give it a chance. Cause I didn't think I'd like it either. Um, because I don't like those two particular oils very much. I probably need them. That's probably why I don't like them. <laughs> Anyways, so um, my section of tonight is going to be talking about um, the opportunity with Young Living. And when we say opportunity, um, what we're talking about is doing 
just what Tessa and Anne and myself are doing. Um, and that's just sharing about our experiences with oils and how they can um, impact your life, how you can use oils and other oil and peace products to get healthier, non-toxic options into your house. And so it sounds daunting, but it's really awesome um, and easy. So I got started with Young Living back in 2014. And at the time, I got my kit. It sat on the counter for months and months and months. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Started with a probiotic. I started doing, um, started using some digest for digestive support and um, was on ER, continued on ER. And I was simply just ordering products for, let's see here, three years. And, um, and over the course of that time, my friends, family, other people started noticing like, hey, you're using, what do you use to clean your floors? Like, what do you use, you know, uh, what does that smell? Like, what did you, what kind of shampoo do you use? I go to work and I would be getting report from the previous shift and I would have nurses be like, you smell good. What is that? You know? And so I'm like, all right. So I started finding myself telling people about oils and not even knowing it. Like it's no different than like, oh my gosh, there's this stone fire pizza place in Nina. Um, you guys should go. It's broken tree by the way. So there's my little tips to them. A little small business. Tonight's oily fireside chat sponsored by. <laughs> So anyways, so it is no different than, you know, putting a, a plug out for any small, small business. Um, you have a product and you really like it and you're super excited to tell other people about it. That is simply all that, that, that we do is just tell people about a product or products in Young Living's case, it's like 700 products. Um, how they change our life, how they can help benefit other people's lives. Easy peasy. So I found myself starting to give these like free referrals and be like, Hey, no, Oh, I use a shampoo. Oh, here. Yeah, sure. You want to try it? Yeah, no big deal. And so then I got thinking and I was like, you know, I know there's an opportunity. Like I know there's like a business side of things, but eh. I've always said all along, like, I don't have time for that and I don't want anything to do with it. Nope. Mm -mm, nope. Not doing it. So, okay. So here we are now fast forward three more years. And I, so that was like the summer I had our third baby in January. And when I was on maternity leave, I really started to like dig into it and read, okay, what does this entail? And now that we live in like the digital age, there's so many resources. And so I got started doing um, Sarah Harnish's boot camp um, just by myself. It's called Game Plan. And so I started doing her boot camp by myself because I really wanted to know like what what does the Young Living business entail? And I wanted to like put to rest some of the common myths that pop up with uh, multi-level marketing or network marketing companies. And so, um, I did a lot of research and I fell in love with the company. I had already fallen in love with the products, but I didn't know a ton about the company. And the more that I researched and the more that I learned, I was like, oh my gosh, this is a legit company that cares about its people. And I have quite a few um, friends who are, who are reps or consultants or whatever, who are other MLMs or other direct sales or network marketing or you know, whatever kind of company they are. And hands down young living's income disclosure guide take a peek at that if you just search young living income disclosure guide their compensation plan is by far the most generous of anything out there um and with their new like bridge to gold that whole track um i won't go into that too in detail now but their new track that they have laid out. It used to be, I'm trying to think what it used to be called. Uh, I forget what it used to be called, but anyway, that matters not there anymore. So, um, their new track really sets people up to build their business, to earn income and to share what they love, change lives. And, um, yeah. And, and not do it in a salesy way. That's the one thing that I love about this company is in, in about um, 
about doing what we do is it is an educational focused thing. And so as, as a nurse, um, I really, really enjoy teaching people about what they can do as preventative things, you know, like health and wellness and maintaining that wellness so that they don't have to come see me in the hospital. Mm -hmm. um, there are those things that happen that are not preventable and people still need care. You know, Levi falls and busts his head. He still needs to go to the ER and get staples. You know, like, it, like it is there for a reason and it's there for a good reason. But um, one of my passions is teaching about like holistic wellness and about, okay, so here's the problem. What can we do? What can we do that's, that doesn't jump automatically to pharmaceutical treatment? What could we do to help with X, Y, or Z? And more so like, what is bottom line? What's the cause? Like what, what is, what's the cause? Um, so that's kind of the background of what got me started in the business, but, and the fact that they are just have such a generous compensation plan. Um, so what we do is we connect with people. It's so fun because we just connect, we connect with people, um, and teach them about how to use essential oils, how to use essential oil infused products and help guide them on their journey to using oils, or if their goal is, you know, they want to ditch the Windex and they want to ditch the bleach in their house. Um, we help come alongside of them and, and do that, um, which is super, super rewarding. If you guys ever have anything to add while I'm talking, go ahead and just pop on in. <laughs> I would throw in there, you were talking about the business opportunity. I've been a part of three other MLMs and none of them even come close to Young Living for their compensation plan. It, Young Living is incredibly generous to their distributors. That's very helpful. And do you have any insight? I know you've done a couple other. Yes. Um, so the, the thing that really was attractive to me when I began my journey with Young Living was the fact that you could you could get wholesale pricing and you didn't necessarily have to do the business side of things if you didn't want to. Mm -hmm. Whereas a lot of other network marketing companies, it's, it's all or nothing. Like you didn't have a choice. So that was the first thing. The other thing that was really eye opening to me in a more, in a very positive way was, that the residual income that you get once you, you know, I mean, once you start to really build a business, you know, the residual income is awesome. And, and you get to a point in your business that it could be willable to your children and to your grandchildren. Mm -hmm. That got me super, super, super excited. Um, that, and, and it is, it's so it's not, it's not about sales. It's about, it's about educating others and sharing, sharing what we know, not that we're experts on, on anything, but just sharing what we know and really caring for people. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's the thing that, that drives it home is that we're here for you because we care about you. I agree. And what Janelle is saying as a nurse in the hospital, and I've mentioned this before, but as a paramedic with like how do we keep you from having to be in the ambulance again? Like, how do we, how do we do preventative care? The preventative care with Young Living, and I truly have the heart of a teacher, like Anne is saying, with not being salesy, with the other MLMs, I constantly feel like I was trying to make that sale to get my paycheck. Whereas with Young Living, I teach people, I educate people, or I share my story, or I help solve a problem. Oh, you're not sleeping really well. Oh, that really sucks here's what I do. This is what works for me. Why don't you borrow these? And let me see, let me tell, get back to me on how it works for you. Like that kind of a thing. And with the other MLMs, you can have too many bags. You can have too much jewelry. You can have too many stamps or kitchen utensils or 
cleaning washcloths or whatever, you can have too much stuff, whereas oils are consumable. Like, I'm constantly ordering lemon. I'm constantly ordering thieves. So, like, if you're worried about being salesy or people having too much of something, you can't have too many oils. We've got over 700. I think we're pushing 800 products. With the holiday gift guide, we probably hit 800. So we have a really good variety of consumables that people will run out of, and you never have to be salesy. I don't think I've ever sold an oil to someone. I've shared my oils, and they've loved them so much that they wanted some for themselves. So I love being a teacher, and I love sharing. So I love you. Yeah. <laughs> so I, okay, so I want to give a little, I don't know that we've ever done this. I want to give a little background about about like Young Living, about like why would you ever consider building a business with Young Living? And then um, what we could do, could we maybe like link the income disclosure guide somehow to the video? Um, and if you have any questions after, after watching, reach out to us. Um, but I, I would echo what, what Tessa says and I'll get to that point with why would you want to do a Young Living business? So Young Living is a company that was founded in 1994. Um, by Gary Young, and so it's been around for a long time, and there are certain things that set it apart from um, other companies, just as the company itself. Um, it's commitment to like quality and standards and purity. Um, it's commitment to eliminating waste. Um, they have like a five by five pledge um, that was released, I want to say a year or two ago, and they're committed to limiting the amount of waste. Um, their packaging has changed a lot over the course of the years to help um, create a greener planet. Their fields are completely hand weeded. They don't use pesticides other than essential oils. Um, their, all of their bottles, all of their oils are tested in triplicates. There's like 20 tests that they run. They run that three times. There's third party labs that are, that, um, validate those results, like labs like the FBI uses or Scotland Yard uses, you know, like those sorts of things. Um, so legit, they have the most diverse library of essential oils. When you talk about libraries, you've got your, your oils and they're distilled and you have, you know, the constituents. They have the most diverse library of, I guess, constituents than any other company in any other company. Um, they are a company who would rather, they don't, they're not looking for profits. They're, they want the oil to be used for a purpose. Um, if one of the tests that they use for the oils fails, they toss the whole thing out. This was probably three or four years ago now. They had a batch of peppermint that just didn't, it didn't pass all of the tests and they could have labeled it. They could have bottled it, labeled it and sold it. Um, but they chose not to because it didn't meet their quality standards. And what people don't realize is in the essential oil world, there is no regulating agency. There is no regulating person who says, okay, well, it has to have X, Y, and Z in order to be labeled as pure. There's nothing that exists. The closest you get is an FDA, um, but like chapter 51 point, da, da, da. I don't know what the numbers are. I'm just making it up, but it's like this long drawn out thing. Um, that says that in order for a fragrance to be labeled as pure, it needs like 5%, 5 to 10% essential oil. Okay, so the rest can be filled with crap because there's nobody, there's no agency, there's nobody that says that it has to meet these certain qualifications. And so as a company, if you can cut, order, cut corners, if you can um, add alcohol and fillers and all of those things to basically get a higher yield so that you can sell more, you're going to do that, right? Because you're going to make more money. Young Living does not do that. And that is one of the things that I love about, about the company is what it boils down to is because there is no agency for essential oils. So when you look at a bottle of essential oil and it's saying like, okay, it's like whatever certified something, 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 it's not that it's certified by anybody except the company itself, because there's no certifying agency that oversees all of the essential oil companies, if that makes sense. So you have to know and trust your company. Young Living, 
out of all of the essential oil companies, I know there was um, a gal a few years ago that um, called, hey, can I come visit your, I, I want to see the distillation process. I want to come and just like see, I just want to see what your company does. How do you do things? And the only company that told her like, yeah, you could come. And, and she didn't, she didn't let on that she was already a Young Living member. Um, so they had no clue that she was a Young, young Living member. The only one that said, yeah, you can come, come and tour our farms. You can come see distillation was Young Living. Everybody else said, nope, I'm sorry, it's close to the public. The transparency of that alone is awesome to me. I, I like that a lot. Um, so that's a little bit about the company. I could go on and on and on. There's so much that I love about the company, but um, those are the main highlights. If the girls, you guys have anything else to add about the company of itself, why we love it? Oh, I could talk about it for an hour, but we'll save that for another night. <laughs> so next we'll talk about like, why in the world would you want to do a Young Living business? And so I think network marketing in, in and of itself has gotten a lot of a bad rap um, over the course of time. Um, one of the very common questions I get asked is, well, isn't this like a pyramid scheme? Okay, so here's the thing. Okay, the first pyramid schemes are illegal. Okay, you, a pyramid scheme involves like, you don't receive a product. Okay, so, and you have... The person at the top makes the most money, the most money, the most money. Then the person down below makes a little bit less, a little less, a little less, a little less. Okay. Okay. Let's think about the, the corporate world. You've got your CEO of your hospital and then you've got your, okay. So let's just think about that and how that looks. And then what people don't realize is that it does not matter. Like, so for example, um, my, I, I have a cousin whose girlfriend at the time signed him up. Um, she was, he was her first sign up. Okay. So she got started with essential oils. He like begrudgingly was like, okay, fine. I'll be your first customer or whatever. I'll be your first sign up. Okay, fine. Well, he fell in love with the oils and started building a business. He reached the level of diamond. So there's a bunch of different levels in the compensation plan. He reached that level of diamond making more money than his sponsor above him sooner. And so if it was a true pyramid scheme, that wouldn't happen. And the fact that they're illegal and you can't do that. But, but if it was a true pyramid scheme, that would not happen, right? So you like the people below only make so much and everybody above makes more and makes more and makes more. Okay, so we'll just put that myth to, to rest. Um, so why would you want to do a Young Living business? A, there is no income ceiling. None, okay? zilch no income ceiling and so you'll see on the income disclosure i don't know since i've updated it if it still shows the range of numbers it used to show like what is the what's the minim minimum amount that anybody has made at a certain rank what is the maximum amount and so you could be a senior star making five grand a month or you could be um so it would seem like you know decent change like that seems like a deep I would be, oh, your screen sharing. Okay, great. Um, does it say it in there anymore? I don't know if it does or not. Anyways, so what it shows is there's, there's a wide variety of, there's no income ceiling. It's what, it, what is what you are putting into the business. There's no, of course, no guarantees that you are going to make millions or you're going to do it very quickly or, or whatever. But at one point, the income disclosure guide showed the minimum number of months to achieve a certain rank versus the maximum number of months to receive a certain rank. And so the highest rank that you can achieve in Young Living is your Royal Crown Diamond. And at that time, the um, disclosure guide, which, which I thought was very helpful in perspective. So I, there's so many personality tests that you can take, and I am predominantly like a yellow, very empathetic, caring person, but I have some red in me, which is like, okay, let's get this show on the road, the, the quickest point from A to B, and okay, let's go. And so there are some people who move through the ranks very, very quickly, and there's some people who it takes them longer. And so at that, it, I don't know if it still shows that. I can't see. I can't yep, see. It does. Here. Okay. So at Royal Crown Diamond, what does it say for like the minimum number of months it took to achieve that rank? Royal Crown Diamond, minimum 95. Okay, so 95 months was the minimum number of months to achieve the highest rank. What was the maximum number of months? 164. Okay, so 
when we divide that up over now, the course of something years, to keep in mind here that would throw those numbers off is that we did not have Royal Crown Diamond five years ago. That rank was added. So the more yeah. accurate one to look at would be Crown Diamond because Crown Diamond has been around since 2000? That sounds right. That it sounds right. Before yeah. me. So yeah, that would be the more accurate one to look at because it's got a longer trend of statistics. Okay. You're right. So 274, is that what I see? Yep. Mm -hmm. 74 months to achieve that rank is like the longest. Okay, so I'm no mathematician, but you can divide that up and see how many years it is. Um, so we've said we we've said this time and time again. If I was to, if I was guaranteed that I it was going to take me 20 years, but I could have a willable income for my family by working at wherever at the dollar store or wherever I don't care where it is. Would I do it, and would it be worth it? I think you'd be hard to find anybody who would say, no, I wouldn't do it. Um, so no income ceiling. That's, that is a huge benefit. Another huge benefit for me, I've got four kids. I work full time and usually have other people's children here too, um, <laughs> is that I can do it on my own time. And if I'm in a season of my life, you know, after all of my babies were born, if I'm in a season of my life where I just need to dial back the amount of classes that I'm doing, or, you know, maybe what, whatever that may be, if I need to kind of not take a break, but dial back on how much I'm putting into my business, it's still going to be there when I go back. There are no monthly minimums that you need to sell necessarily. I know there are some companies out there where you have to sell, you know, in order to stay active, you have to sell an, an X amount per month or an X amount over the course of a few months or whatever that is. Or you have to invest in inventory. Another huge win is that I don't carry inventory. Tessa doesn't carry inventory, nor does Anne. So what our job is, is to educate and empower um, people. I'm just going to say people because I've had, I've had both males, females alike um, want to use oils and so educate and empower them to be advocates for their own health. Okay. And so the way that we do that is we help them set up their own account, much like an Amazon account. It's no different. You have a username, you got a password, you got a pin and you have two options. You either pay full retail prices or you pay wholesale prices. You either go to the grocery store or wherever and pay retail prices or you go to Costco or Sam's, you have your membership and you pay wholesale prices. Very, very similar. So um, the nice thing that I love is that Young Living only makes you pay for the wholesale membership one time. And what it breaks down to is $35. Okay. I remember when Tim and I did have a wholesale membership at Costco or Sam's and it was more than $35. And we had to pay it every year. It was like an annual thing. So um, the most bang for your buck is to grab one of their pre-made starter kits because the wholesale membership is already included in there. And so it makes it even more of a value. Um, so once you have that wholesale membership, the only thing that Young Living says is, hey, you know what? We're not going to make you pay that over and over and over again. We're just going to you know, invest in more product. 50 PV is about 60-ish, 60, $65 a year in products, so replace those, the, the lemon and the thieves and the thieves cleaner or whatever you're using at minimum, 50 bucks a year, 50 PV, so it's like 60, 65, when you include tax and shipping and all of that. Of course, if you order 100 PV, it's free shipping, so I would do that. But anyway, uh, <laughs> that's, that's new. As number first, that free shipping at 100 is new, and we have been asking for that for years. Oh yeah, um, years. So no inventory. Our, our job simply is to educate, empower, help you set up your own account, help be there as a resource like, hey, I got my kit, what in the world do I use this for? Or, hey, my kid is having issues with X, Y, and Z. Oh my goodness, my husband is snoring. Do you have any issues? Do you have any like suggestions for that? Whatever. So we are your resources available all the time. So you're not gonna be doing anything alone. Now, the easy thing is that 
if I make a referral, so say I made a referral to um, one of the local mom and pop shops to Tessa and Ann, and they had a promo going at the same at, at that time. And they said, you know, we'll give you a $10 gift card if you just refer somebody to us. And they come and they purchase $20 at our store. Would you do it? Heck yeah, I would do it, especially if it was a place that I liked. So Young Living, they're so super generous for every referral that you make. And so say, uh, all right, Tessa was not in Young Living. I was, she and I were talking. She wanted to get started with the oils. Yeah, okay, that sounds great. I get her set up um, with a starter kit. Let's say she picks the premium starter kit with the Aria diffuser. Oh yeah, she's going, she's going with the awesome diffuser. So let's just say that. Um, she does that. She's going to plug in my member number in the enroller and sponsor spot. And basically all that's doing is saying like, Hey, here's my friend. Here's her membership number. She referred me. So Young Living rewards that referral with a $50 paycheck that next month. So Tessa gets her starter kit, uses my referral number. That next month, I'm going to get a $50 paycheck. Simply for a referral. And so, anybody can do it. As long as can, you're a member, num as long as you're a Young Living member, yep. you can give your and, member number to whoever and get a $50 paycheck. You don't have to teach. You don't nope. have to lead oily fireside chats. You just hand nope. out your member number. Yep. You hand out your member number, use it in your friends or family, whoever can use it as a referral. Um, the... The one thing that I will mention is that in that same month that, so Tessa grabbed her starter kit and um, in that same month, in order to, in order to um, receive that referral bonus from Young Living, I also need to put some skin in the game, okay? So I also need to place a $50 order. So $50 order on my part. So pretty much it's a wash. Like they're paying me 50 bucks. I'm getting my products for free. I already like that I already love them and how cool is that so now I'm getting my oils for free and or say I just got my starter kit and uh, my mom my sister my best friend decided you know what I want a starter kit too I almost have that starter kit paid for so that is a huge huge benefit um, is that young living is just so generous and like Tessa said you don't have to like you don't have to lead oily fireside chat. You don't have to have your own Facebook group or anything like that. But if you are loving your oils and you are using word of mouth to refer people, you should get rewarded for that. Um, and Young Living, rather than having a huge marketing budget, what they do is um, they invest in their distributors and they invest in the people who are telling other people about their products, which is super, super smart super smart on their part um trying to think what else all right girls give some other like why would you want to do a young living business i'm gonna to toss the baton because now my brain is all scattered well kind of jumping off of what you said janelle about you know the whole referral thing and how you know we're there to support and help educate others you know i mean i've done this a number of times myself you know say so somebody's like you know, they're like, well, you know, I have a whole bunch of friends that are interested, you know, but I really don't know. I, I really don't know what to say. Well, enter and, you know, I go and, and just share what I know. I share about the company. I share about the starter kit. I share about how, you know, your options, retail or wholesale, you know, and let's just say she, this particular person has eight people at, at, at her house and all eight want to get a starter kit. Well, you know what? I'm going to reward that person with all of those starter kits with that $50 referral bonus. She's going to so make all of that. $400 paycheck right there. You know, because I care about my team enough to say, you know what? I'm going to do this for you so that you then in turn can do it for your people, you know? So that's what we do. And so I love the sisterhood of Young Living that we truly build each other up. Sisterhood and brotherhood. We have, we have men too. 
Um, but we truly do build each other up. In the other MLMs I was a part of, it was so competitive and cutthroat. Like, we didn't help each other out by referring parties, and we didn't sign other people up under each other. That takes away from our paycheck. Like, that's just crazy. Why would you help a crossline member or help a downline member? That was just stupid. But with Young Living, the more we help each other out, the more we benefit our businesses and our paychecks which I think is just beautiful and wonderful and fantastic. Um, what was the there? Oh, okay. So this sounds daunting, right? Like, oh, I don't really know that much about oils. Oh, I just started. Like, what am I going to tell people? All right. So I have a, think about anything, any favorite hair salon, any favorite um, shirt that you have, any, um, anything you know you get something new and you're super excited about it you want to tell people right and so it's it's no different than it's no different than that you're just telling people what you like why you like it there you go and that was what i had found myself doing before i decided to jump in and see a little bit more about what the business was about was i found myself already have fallen in love with the products and just not even knowing it telling people about it and that's simply all, all that it is, is meeting people where they're at, finding, finding a need that you can meet them with, like, hey, I, whatever, whatever that need is, and um, help them, guide them on being advocates for their own health and finding resources. I like to empower people to do their own research and ask questions and... Yes. Did we miss anything? I don't think so. I think we'll, we'll link the income disclosure guide. Mm -hmm. If you, if you do want more information, I'm tr we're trying to be as, you know, give you kind of a, a, an overview of why would you want to do a young living business? Kind of what it looks like. But if you want more specific details, message one of us, please message one of us. And we have so many helpful additional resources that will give you a, a larger view scale of, well, what does this mean for whatever, X, Y, and Z, all those other questions that maybe pop up. All right. I linked the income disclosure guide. So that's up Perfect. and on there. Good deal. Because, you know, if I don't do it now, I'll forget. <laughs> Mom, Brid. Um, should we go ahead and do the prize wheel? Sure. Anything else we want to talk about or anything? I don't think so. Do either of you ladies have somebody you want to throw in here? I think I have all of the names. We have a lot tonight. We've got a lot of names. No? Nobody? All right. So let's share screen. We went long tonight, but we had so much good information. We had a lot of really good stuff to share. All right, here's our wheel. Ready, everybody? And I think we're going to do two prizes tonight because I had a giveaway in the event, so we're going to spin it twice. And I'll do one, and then Janelle, is it your turn for the other one? And did last week. Okay, so Janelle and I will send out prizes this week. Ready? Spin number one. Number two. <laughs> wow! Awesome. This is what happens when you choose live every week and you comment on the giveaways and you comment on the videos. This is what participation does for you. <laughs> Woohoo! Teresa gets two prizes this week. Awesome. So next week we're talking about oily Christmas gift DIYs. Yeah? Are we excited about those? I still haven't decided what I'm presenting on. There's so many options. Well, thank you all for such a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining us.
Janelle, thanks for talking about the opportunity. We covered so much amazing stuff. I love talking about the business opportunity because just so many wonderful benefits of it. It's a game changer. It is. It's a life changer. It's wonderful. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope everyone has a beautiful rest of their evening and we will see you same time, same place next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>